Hey guys, what's up? For those of you that don't know me, my name is Chrisanna, and if you're new here, then welcome. And if you're an oldie, welcome back. So guys, in today's video, we're going to be testing out a new tinted hydrator. So this is the L'Oreal True Match Nude, and this has 1% of hyaluronic acid. And what I read is this is the first ever foundation to have 1% of hyaluronic acid. So this retails for $16.99 on Amazon, and of course, that's where I purchased it. Ulta's, it is $19.99 there, so it is $3 more. So I do recommend getting on Amazon where you can get it for a little bit cheaper. But honestly, you guys, all the claims that I have read on this are absolutely true. I absolutely freaking love it. It's not like super sheer coverage, but it's not full coverage either, but it is like in between and I absolutely love it. So yeah, if you guys want to see exactly how I apply this and my thoughts on everything, then go ahead and keep on watching. So I got mine in the shade 23 Light Pale. It claims on their website that even if this isn't your perfect shade, that it will match to your skin tone. So let's go ahead and prep the skin and jump on in. So for primer, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. So I usually start with this right here in my T-zone and then I do um, put it on the rest of my face as well. So what has everybody been up to? I literally feel like summer is almost over. Like it's so crazy. It's going by so fast and I feel like we've gotten so much rain that it's like, how do you want to enjoy a summer by like the beach if it's just raining all the time or even out by the pool or anything? I feel like it's so hard to do that when it's constantly pouring. Like literally, I don't think I've ever seen this much rain in the summertime like my whole life. Like I remember years ago when I was like a little girl, I used to hear my grandma complain and holler all the time because her plants outside would be so dry from like not getting any rain and now... I hear complaining that we're getting like too much rain. I live in PA and a lot of farmers around here grow their corn and stuff. And there's literally been so much rain that it's literally washed their corn right away. So this does, it looks like comes with a dropper. So I'm going to have to actually see. Oh, okay. This looks really cool, guys. Let's see if it'll. Oh, that looks so awesome. So I'm just going to, let's drop it on this side first and then kind of see. Oh, I love that dropper. That is so cool. So do I want to go in with the brush or do I want to go in with the sponge? Let's take the Real Techniques sponge. Start dabbing that in. Personally, I really don't like tinted hydrators, but I will definitely try anything out. But they're really just not my jam. Like I need something with coverage. I do have acne spots and I usually have like pimples that I've popped and stuff that I need to cover up. And a lot of tinted hydrators just don't do that for me. So on this side, I'm going to take the Morphe foundation brush. So this is the E63. We're going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to do three drops. I'm just going to take that brush and start dabbing that in. I feel like if my skin was like super perfect and super clear, this would be really nice. So it definitely was a lot quicker to blend it out with a brush. Personally, for me, um, honestly, I'm just really not sure um, how I'm feeling about it. It definitely looks really beautiful on the skin. And, and again, like I said, if I had no acne, I think this would be a really nice foundation. Um, just for the sake of it, I am going to go ahead and do a couple more drops on each side. I'm going to use the brush this time for both sides. I really just want to see if I can cover up some of this stuff. Like I have a huge pimple right here. Oh yeah, you guys. This is definitely absolutely buildable. Oh my god, you guys. That looks so beautiful. And honestly, it is covering up. Like it's not like super, super sheer. Oh my gosh, you guys, like I am honestly obsessed and the shade isn't too bad. Of course, right here on my neck, it does look fairly white because that spot does not get tan. But wow, you guys, this looks absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a close up before we add concealer and all that. Let's go ahead and add concealer and everything. For concealer, I'm going to take the Elf Hydrating Camel Concealer. This is the shade Fair Beige. And as you can see, I'm almost out because this stuff is absolutely, hands down, the best concealer I've ever tried. What am I thinking? I don't want it to do bronzer. Oh, no. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend this in and then do my cream bronzer. Because I completely was like spacing out and forgot. So 
So for bronzer, I'm going to take this one from the Elf Times Electric Mood Collection. I'm going to take the shade right here. So I did just review the new Elf Times Electric Mood Collection. Um, that video is like the last one I did. And you guys, I absolutely love this face quad. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I'm just going to take a smaller brush to contour my nose. I'm going to take my beauty sponge to blend that out. So for concealer, I'm going to go back in with the e.l.f. and do down my nose. I always like to do this after the fact because I feel like it makes my contour look nicer on my nose. Cream blush, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Putty Blush. I'm not sure what shade this is in. So it is more of like the orange peachy color. Now, don't get me wrong. This blush is okay. It's not super pigmented. Like, I really have to dig my brush in there to get the pigment. And I always say this. If you're looking for a good cream blush, Believe Beauty at the Dollar General has the best cream blushes that I've ever tried. And they're only $4.50 versus like this e.l.f. one, which is $6.00. And a lot of other ones, which are definitely more than $4, and it's literally the best. I'm going to use the Bare Minerals Under Eye Concealer in the shade Well Rusted. So I solely just use this right here under my eyes. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the L'Oreal Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory Buff. Just with the tiniest bit, I'm just going to go ahead and set. So I'm not going to touch up the bronzer, but I am going to touch up the blush with the ColourPop blush and this is the shade juice bar I later i'm taking this one in the cover girl set all right guys so i'm gonna get off camera finish with my eyes finish with my lips and then i'll be back to give you my final thoughts all right guys i'm back and i went ahead and did the rest of my makeup can I just say, let's talk about this foundation, guys. I absolutely love this. I think it looks beautiful on the skin, and I do think there is some coverage to it. I wouldn't say it's super light coverage, but I would say it's like medium coverage. I know some tinted hydrators and moisturizers are very light, but this, you guys, this is like an ex exception. This is absolutely amazing. It honestly makes my skin feel so good. If I could rate this, I would give this 10 out of 10 stars. Highly, highly recommend. Um, and I will leave a link for Amazon below in case you guys want to pick this up for yourself. Because like, again, I said, it is $3 cheaper on Amazon than it is at Ulta. And I do actually think it applied better with a brush. Um, personally, I don't think it gave any more coverage, but I do think it looks a lot more like dewy and glowy. Honestly, you guys, I have so many good things to say about this foundation. I absolutely love it. And I would 10 out of 10, 100% recommend. So yeah, if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more videos like this one, please be sure to give this video a big old thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't already. If there's anything at all that you guys want to see next, please let me know. Yeah, I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you next time.